We're going to begin today sitting cross-legged, and if you're in legs up the wall, you're welcome to stay there. Looks very nice. And if you're sitting cross-legged with me, then maybe you want to pull the flesh of your buttocks back behind your sit bones. And just let your hands rest on your legs. And see if you've chosen to turn the palms down or up. And then just as an experiment, turn them the other way, just to see if it feels different. One is more grounding and one is more open and maybe you intuitively already pick the posture that you need, but Maybe now that you can feel both, you can decide how you want to rest your hands. And if you're comfortable letting your eyes close, I invite you to do that. Signaling to your mind. Bring your awareness inward. And you can just see what is there to be felt when you turn within. Feeling the sensations. Think how your heart feels, how your body feels. And then we'll start to notice how the breath feels. Don't need to do anything special with it for now. Just seeing how it feels to breathe. Just giving your attention to this gift of breath. And then we'll start to deepen the breath, breathing fully into a relaxed and open belly. And bringing the breath all the way up to the collarbones. Maybe feeling your chest lift and your collarbones widen. So we're going to begin today with a breathing exercise. We're going to turn the palms to face up. We're going to take 10 sniffs of air in, 10 inhales as we lift the hands. You can bring your fingers to your thumbs if you like, taking Gia Mudra, or you can just let the hands be open. So we're going to do 10 inhales. Lifting the hands up for each of the 10 inhales. And then when your hands get to the forehead, you're going to bring your fingertips together and you're going to do one long, slow exhale, releasing the hands down. And then just again at your own pace.
So you can see it's both an energizing and a calming breath. Two more. Try to keep your shoulders relaxed as you bring the hands up. And then just rest for a moment and notice how you feel. And then we'll bring the chin to the chest and begin to circle the head around, inhaling as the eyes come up, exhaling as they come down. Long, slow, deep breathing. And on your next breath, reverse directions. And then back to center. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, fold over. And then inhale up, reach up. And exhale over. And up. And just continue like that. Last one, and then when you fold, stay there. Mm. Bend the elbows, drop the weight of your upper arm bones down toward the ground. Just feel them dropping. Release the weight of the forehead down. Breathe slowly through the nose, spreading the breath across the ribs and the back. And wherever else you may feel the breath expand from the inside out. And when you exhale, let go of your body. Drop. No weight in your hands.
hands and arms. Empty all the air out and empty any agenda, any effort, just release. Making yourself a soft container to receive the breath. And then walk the hands in, rolling yourself up, reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale the arms down. Notice the cross of your legs, which one is in front or on top. And release the legs out, shake them out. If you like rubbing your knees, go ahead. And then cross your legs with the opposite leg in front. We'll inhale and open the arms out. Send the chest out and the eyes up. Exhale, round your back, wrapping your hands around yourself in a nice hug. Notice which arm is on top and then change with each exhale. Spread the breath wide across your heart from fingertips to fingertips. The next time you come into your bear hug, stay there. Walk the fingertips toward each other in the back. And then breathe into the palms of your hands. And see if you can really embrace yourself. Really feel like you're giving yourself a hug. Giving yourself whatever love and attention you might be needing. Doesn't mean anything is lacking. We just all need love. And we all have the capacity to love. So why not give it to ourselves? Beautiful. And then keep the elbows where they are and release the hands, bringing the backs of the hands toward each other. And if you're able to wrap the hands around each other, go ahead. Even if you're here, that's fine. Just get as close to the hands as you can. And then inhale, lift the elbows up. Exhale down. Continue at your own pace. One more.
And then notice which arm is on top. Inhale and open wide. Exhale, other arm on top. Wrap the arms around you. Walk the hands toward each other. And just let your head rest. Feel your breath like you're breathing into your hands. Maybe you can have a sense of appreciation for this precious body. It serves us so well. Thank you for your health. Thank you for your strength. Thank you for the fun that you get to have. And then keeping the elbows where they are, bring the backs of the hands toward each other, or if you can, to each other, or if you can, the palms together. And again, inhaling up, rising those elbows as high as they'll go, stretching the shoulders and exhaling down. Almost like your arms become buoyant on the fullness of your in-breath, floating above it. See if you can feel your breath coming up under the arms to those ribs. And one more. And then release the arms out, send them up, inhale, exhale, fold over. Relax the arms, drop the elbows, feel the arm bones that span from the shoulders to the elbows and let them release down. Take weight out of your hands, relax your head. Draw your belly back toward your spine when you exhale. Soften everything and breathe into the softening. As you exhale, sink, let go. And your next inhale, walk your hands in, roll yourself up, reach up, exhale down. And see if you can maintain the rhythm of your breath, even as you move non-rhythmically by releasing your legs and shaking them out. Okay, and then make your way on to hands and knees. Today we'll do a simple cat and cow. And as always, those of you who like to do a more rigorous version of the spinal movement, you're welcome to. And we'll just be sure to move with the breath so that when we lift the chest and eyes, we inhale, 
And when we round the back, we exhale, or if you're doing downward dog, that's on the exhale. And then if you're in a version where your knees are not on the ground, come bring your knees onto the ground. We're gonna take our, our left hand and plant it on the ground. We're gonna move our left foot behind us. So it's just gonna move like 45 degrees over. And then we're gonna send the right leg out. And then send the other arm up. Okay, now we're going to bring the right hand to the right foot and kick back and turn your gaze up. Breathe into your chest. Okay. And then send that right foot down so that it's out level with the left knee. And then lift yourself up. Facing sideways. So it's okay if you're not facing me anymore. And then reach arms up, inhale. And exhale, right hand down, left arm over. Roll your gaze up. And then really reach out of your left hand. Stretch long, breathe up the side of the body. Feel the stretch coming just as much, if not more, from the breath than the position. So you get yourself as far into the posture as you can, and then you expand with the breath, and there's the stretch. And inhale the left arm up. Exhale, bring it to the left heel. If you don't reach the heel, curl the toes under. If you still don't reach, hand on the hip. Right arm up and back. Drop your head back if you can. If you can't, then you can just drop your chin. And press down into your right foot and reach out of your fingertips. Beautiful. Bring the hands down. Bring that right leg forward. And then bring one hand on either side of the foot. Point and flex the foot. See if you can make the toes touch the ground. Really pointing, really stretching the tops of the feet.
Okay. And then hold the foot in the flex position. Inhale, look up. Keep looking up. Exhale and try to lay your belly toward your thigh. Keep looking up. Keep looking up. Inhale, look up. Exhale, try to bring your ribs down toward your thigh. Keep looking up. Inhale, look up some more. Exhale, lay your chest down. Let your head relax. And then if your hands are touching the ground, not everybody's will reach, but if your hands are touching the ground, become lighter in your hands. Just the lightest touch. See if there's any tension in the arms and the shoulders and let that go. Just feel the arms relaxing. And then when you exhale, scoop your lower belly in and up. Lengthen the inhale. Lengthen the exhale. Relax the shoulders, the face. And then lift your head up, bend into your front knee, coming into a lunge. And you can leave your hands down on the ground. You can bring your right hand onto your right thigh and lift your left arm up. And then bring the thumb back. So you're coming into a little bit of an arch. You're welcome to curl your back toes under and come off your left knee if you wish. Feel your heart lifting with each inhale and your hips sinking with each exhale. Okay. And then if your arm isn't lifted, lift it now just for a moment. And then exhale and bring the elbow to the outside of the knee. Bring the right hand on top of the left hand. And again, if you wanna curl your back toes under and lift the knee for a runner's lunge, you're welcome to do so. We're gonna take a breath in. And then on the exhale, press the right hand down to the left hand turning your ribs, turning your chest toward those hands, looking over your right shoulder, expanding outward with the in-breath. Feel the whole twist inflating. See if you can bring your hands back to center without touching down. And then bring the hands down. Bring the right leg back. Let's just sit for a moment. If you're not able to sit on your feet like this, then you can just Stand on your knees. And bring the hands to the ground again. Take the right hand over to the right. Send the left leg out and the left arm up. Spread wide. Beautiful. Take the left foot with the left hand and kick it back. 
Roll your shoulder open. Drop your head back if you can. Really kick actively with that foot. Where is it hard to breathe? That's where you want to send the breath. Okay. And then release the leg down, out to the side. Lift yourself up, reach up, inhale. And exhale, bring the left arm down onto the left leg. Reach the right arm overhead. Pull your gaze up. Push down into your left foot and reach out of your right hand. Inhale deep. Exhale, slide the hand down. your next inhale lift up and exhale that right hand to the right heel curling the toes under if you need to or just taking the hip if you don't reach bring your hips forward lift your arm bring it back drop your head back spread the breath across your open heart Release that left arm, bring both hands to the ground in front of you, stepping that left leg up straight, one hand on either side of the leg, and point and flex the foot. Try to touch the toes down to the ground. And then hold the foot in the flex position. Inhale, look up. Keep looking up. Lay your belly down toward your thigh. Inhale, look up. Keep looking up. Lay your ribs down. Inhale, look up. And exhale, lay your chest down. Relax your head. Take weight out of your hands. You can even maybe lift one hand off the ground and then just gently touch the fingers back down and then do the same with the other one. Keep the foot actively flexed, the leg straight if possible, and drop the elbows, relax the shoulders, soften the face. Scoop your lower belly in and up as you exhale. Drag the in-breath slowly through the body. And then lift your head, shift your weight forward, bend your knees. Coming into your lunge, you're welcome to keep your hands on the ground or join me by bringing your left hand onto your left thigh and sending your right arm up and taking your thumb back and dropping your hips.
breathe up to the fingertips if your hand or hands are lifted. And again, you're welcome to take it into a high lunge, curling the toes under and lifting the back knee. Some of you have already done it, that's great. Sink your hips down, let go, drop. If your right arm isn't lifted, lift it now, inhale, and then exhale, hook the elbow over the left leg, bring the left hand on top of the right hand, take a breath in, and then exhale and push the left hand down toward the right hand, rolling your chest up toward the hands, taking your gaze up past your elbow. feeling the breath, finding space around the twist. And then as you exhale, soften and twist. Bring your hands back to center, touch down. If your back knee is off the ground, bring it down. Take your other knee back, come into child's pose. Arms alongside the body, palms up. Let the arms rest over the legs. If the head doesn't touch the ground, then instead you might bring your hands under your forehead so that your head can rest. That's really important to let your head rest on something. Just be here. Nothing to do. No one to be. And then send the arms over your head. Lift your buttocks up your feet. Keep the hands where they are, out in front of the shoulders. Spread the fingers wide. Curl the toes. Take a breath in. And then exhale. Lift the knees. Keep the knees bent. Push forward through the hands, bringing your ribs toward your thighs. Drop your head down. Roll your shoulders down your back and then press your thighs back to straighten your legs and press your heels down. As much as you're pressing forward with your hands, you're sending your hips back. And then when you send your hips back, you can sink your legs back and your heels down. And then drop your heart, drop your head. Press into the index fingers and thumbs even more. Lengthen through the side bodies. And then fill all this beautiful space that you're making with this posture with your breath. Begin to walk your feet up to your hands. Drop your head, soften your knees, roll yourself up, reaching the arms up as you inhale. Arms down as you exhale. Two more.
And then let your arms just rest by your side. Maybe turn the palms forward. Lift your toes and spread them wide. And if you can, close your eyes. Feel your feet on the ground. Feel your breath in your body. And then start to shift weight into your left leg. Start with your attention on your foot and really feel the entire bottom of the left foot bearing the weight evenly. And feel how the rest of your body stacks itself over that left foot. And then take the left arm up in the air and feel that long line from your foot to your fingers. Breathing in and out. And then let your eyes open softly, but keeping your awareness inward on your breath. Turn the right palm to face away from you. Staying attentive to your breath and keeping your eyes fixed Come and place the top of your right foot onto your right hand. So you're going to keep your right hand facing out, and it's just going to cup under the top of that right foot. And then we're going to kick that right foot back. And reach up through the pinky and back through the thumb. Kick the foot back. Big breath. And release down, nice job. Close the eyes, feel the feet, spread the toes. Bring weight into your right foot. Bringing as much weight into the heel as the ball of the foot, the outer edge as the arch side of the foot whole bottom of the foot bearing the weight evenly. And then send the right arm up. Feel the long stretch from the foot that presses down to the fingers that lift up. Feel the breast spanning through that distance. Try to maintain that sense of the breath as you open your eyes softly and rest them on one spot. Turn the left palm to face away from you. And then bring the left foot onto the left hand. Palm facing away from you so that the shoulder is more open. And then kick the foot back. And inhale, reach up through the right pinky. Exhale, reach back through the thumb. Keep kicking. Keep breathing, keep expanding. And release, good job. Relax the arms. Close the eyes, feel both feet, feel both shoulders relax. Beautiful.
Good. And we'll step the legs wide apart. So if you're on a mat, you can step either leg back as you wish. And then take the heels as wide as the toes. So your feet are not on an angle, they're parallel to each other. Beautiful. Inhale, arms out. Exhale, clasp the hands behind your back. Notice which thumb is on the outside. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale into your chest. Exhale, fold forward, lifting the arms. Push down into the feet, lift up through the thighs, lift up through the pelvis. Lower belly pulls up. Let the arms fall overhead. And then remembering which thumb is on the outside, release the hands to the ground. And bring the knees down. So we're on the hands and the knees. We're going to walk the hands back. We're going to lift the knees without curling the toes under. So we're going to stretch the tops of the feet. So we're not curling the toes under. We're on the tops of the feet, lifting the knees. Weight is in the hands. You need to walk your hands back. And lift them. And then bring the knees down. We'll stretch the feet the other way, curl the toes under. Sometimes it's nice to do breath of fire when you're in this position just to Take your mind off of the intensity of the foot stretch. Feel free to do that if you wish. You want to try to relax the rest of your body and not brace yourself. So it's not this. Just relax into it. Let the weight of your hips drop. Okay, bring the hands to the ground, release the toes, and kick the feet into the ground. Okay, relax the feet, and come and bring your buttocks to the ground with your feet out in front. And come onto your back with your knees bent. Have your feet hip width apart and bring your feet under your knees. Palms will face down on either side of your hips. Breathe in belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, press into your feet, lift your hips. And then if you're able to clasp your hands under you with your opposite thumb on the outside is what you just did. If you're not able to clasp your hands, then hold on to the sides of your yoga mat and pull away from you with your hands. Try to roll your shoulders under you so that you're on your shoulders. 
your neck should even be touching the ground. And then if your hands are clasped, pull them apart. Let your ribs float up. Press your feet forward away from you. Lift your hips higher. Aim your tailbone for the backs of your knees. Press into your shoulders, lift your back ribs and breathe into it. One more breath. And slowly lay your spine down one vertebra at a time from the top to the bottom. And then we'll end with a happy baby. So bringing the hands around the bottoms of the feet, lifting the feet up above the knees. Head down, pull your chin in toward your throat, lengthen your neck, take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, drop the backs of your shoulders toward the ground. Breathe in wide and spacious. And then as you exhale, aim your toes toward the wall behind you. Feel your breath deepening the stretch. And release the feet down. And lift your hips, tuck them under, lower them back down. Release the legs and shake them out. If you have an eye pillow, you can place that on your eyes. And then let your arms rest out away from the body with the palms up. Take a breath in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth, releasing the weight of your body into the ground. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth, releasing the weight of the jaw. And one more, inhale through the nose, exhale out of the mouth, releasing the activity of the mind, letting go of images and words, past and future, even letting go of evaluating the present, just being in it, letting the breath be your gateway to this moment, to this life, this gift. And like with any gift, we don't take it, we just receive it. So letting the breath go and just allowing it to be. Letting the body go just allowing it to be deeply relaxed, letting go, letting go, letting
Breathe into your heart, move the fingers and the toes. Reach the arms over the head, take a deep breath, stretch it long. Hug the knees to the chest, rocking side to side, feeling the ground massaging your back. Come center, rub hand to hand and foot to foot. Roll onto your side. Resting your head on your underside arm. Resting your body on the ground. Resting your awareness in the gift of this moment. What's here right now? What do you appreciate about this moment? And then when you're ready, you can slowly make your way up to sitting any way that you're comfortable. Sinking down into the sit bones, lifting tall through the crown of the head. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands together at the heart. Inhale, the heart up to the hands. Exhale, shoulders relax down. Inhale, deeply breathing in from bottom to top. Take it all in. Let it all go. Drop the chin to the chest. Namaste.